we are back. JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, and we are on number 9 of 113. We are going to explore the difference between var and let keywords. So one of the biggest problems when declaring variables with the var keyword is you can easily overwrite variable declarations. Camper, camper, so assigning the same name to two different values, and then they're council logging it. It's going to be overridden, and it's going to be the last value that they assign, so that's what they're saying here. Um, in a small application, you might not run into this problem, but as the code base evolves, basically, it's going to become a, a issue. So the keyword let is introduced in ES6, uh, which is a major update to JavaScript, to solve this potential issue. Uh, if you replace var with let, it results in an error. The error can be seen in your console. So basically, it just does not let you redeclare and reassign. You can reassign your variable, but you cannot redeclare it. Uh, like they have here. So update the code so it only uses the let keyword. So this is, should be simple. Uh, let and var are pretty interchangeable, but it is best practice to use let after ES6. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to change these. We're going to say let, copy, let. So now these operate the exact same. Um, if we change these back and we console.log cat 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 name if I can spell plus plus cat sound we have Oliver and meow and then if we change these to let's and let's we have the exact same thing because they operate pretty interchangeably just can uh, cannot redeclare once you declared, which is why we prefer let 